All right, we are back with part four. Check, check. All right, so we are back with part four. I'm trying to move my webcam because it's in my way. It's not going to hide for some odd reason. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Oops, sorry. Alright, so this is going to be the last part for this episode. If I'm combining episodes, if I'm not combining episodes, this might be long by itself. And earlier I had maximized my space in this whole area. <gasps> what is this? Wait, no. What is this? What is this? What is this? <gasps> I'm gonna buy this now. I'm possibly gonna buy this right now. I bought it. <laughs> oh, what? That's so much money. This is just so. I, oh, most of the, it's okay. <laughs> I may have spent a lot of money, but it's worth it. Anywho, goal: supply one. Anti-seizure treatments. Yay! Welcome to tutorial four. In this tutorial, we're going to design just a single production line. But boy, is it a humdinger? What is humdinger? Someone let me know in the comments below what that is. Our goal is to create some anti-seizure, yeah, anti-seizure medication. This is a level three cure, so it's potentially a real money spinner. Does that mean I get more money? The first stage is to do some planning. Navigate to the new cures tab. Ooh! Via the button at the bottom of the screen. I was gonna say it doesn't work. <laughs> Let's see. The first stage is to do some I already read this. The cures tab is bifunctional. Firstly, it acts as a summary screen of all the cures available to you. That's nice. Showing, showing you how to upgrade each cure to the next level. In addition, it shows the current demand for each cure in the current marketplace. People are Skyping me. Go away. I'm trying to do stuff. Ah, oh, I see. So this is pain. This is blood. This is relaxants. Oh, this is more pain. Okay. So a painkiller to this, and if I do that, I get, oh, okay. This is part of the screen we're interested in, so we can plan how to make our anti-seizure medication. To start with, we're going to need to create an easy as migraine cure. This shouldn't be too hard because we already did it back in tutorial too. Oh, that's right. Next, we need to upgrade it to an anti-seizure cure. This has an extra requirement that we're that we've not seen before called a catalyst. Please let me know if I'm saying that correctly. Bef I forgot my doors open. <laughs> before this upgrade reaction can go off, we need to get a special side effect into our drug, which will catalyze this reaction. No, no more side effects. No. There's already too many. Oh. Let's go find our catalyst. Navigate to the ingredients tab. You'll notice we have a new ingredient available. Yes, I do. <gasps> Causes dizziness, increase, increases blood pressure. No! What causes a, se a seizure anyway? I'll put that info up on screen if I remember to do it. <laughs> but if I don't, then please comment down below what causes that. Because I don't know. See the causes dizziness effect and the icon alongside it. That's the catalyst we need. No. <laughs> so I'm guessing this little green icon is the catalyst. No. Creating the Eases Migraine Cure. First off, let's create an Eases Migraine Cure. 
which we can then upgrade into the anti-seizure cure. Now we get to the production tab and purchase a plot in the neighboring building. But I don't need that. I have space. Oh no, I don't. No, I don't actually. Ah! Because if you look at it, right, out of, when it comes out of one slot, goes into the other. Out of the slot, into the other. Out of this slot, into the other. There's no other slot that I can use, which is kind of a bad design because there is like so much space I could be using right now. Okay, we're going to the neighboring building. <laughs> I like the little window. <laughs> Click the socket on the top right wall and import the ingredient which contains the painkiller. It would be this. Now, create the necessary machines to upgrade the painkiller to Isa's Mind Grain. If you can't remember how, why not scroll over to your other building and check out your existing Isa's Mind Grain production line. To save space, you might want to try out the new... How do you say this? Agglomerator. Agglomerator. I don't think I'm saying that right, but okay. Machine, which increases... Concentration by three at a time. See, this is what I was talking about. This basically does the work of three evaporators in one go. Thank you. Here's the layout I used. I would probably use this too. As long as it's, mm, as long as it doesn't make, like, as long as I can save space. Select the final machine in your production line and make sure you have, indeed, created an eases migraine cure. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this set up. So, auxiliary, is this it? Ooh, I want to know what this does. I want to know what this does. This game's going to be really cool. I can tell. Yay, new item in my inventory. Whatever that, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. And let's connect these up with a belt. We need more science games like this. By the way, guys, I am going to make a video soon that's going to be basically how you guys can suggest games for me and what games I'm looking for. But just a short little ad for that now. If you guys know any science games, as long as it's not gory, bloody, contains sharks or spiders, or anything that's like has a lot of violence or anything like that, please suggest it to me. I would love some awesome science games, nature games, dinosaur games, robot games, chemistry games, games like this, you know. You can even look at my wish list on Steam. Link will be in the description below and kind of see like what kind of games I would like to play and also record for this channel. So yes, okay. That's so awesome, okay, uh, let's see. Now we need our catalyst. Import the catalyst ingredient into the socket just below the last one. Oh, okay. And what is my catalyst? Oh, this is the catalyst. Import. Select the ingredient by clicking on it so we can plan our next move. We need to add the effects from this ingredient to the effects in our other drug so that we can so that we end up with the eases migraine cure and the causes dizziness side effect in the same drug. <gasps> Is this where the mixing comes in? <gasps> yes! Yes! Luckily there's a machine that does that does this called the multi-mixer. Yes! I'm so excited! <laughs> You'll find the multi-mixer under the auxiliary toolbar. Build a multi-mixer and connect up both your drugs to its inputs. <gasps> yes. It is possible that I'm possibly too excited for this. I don't care, it's awesome. I feel like there's a better way to do this. It's possibly like that. <gasps> Look at 
did it go? I want to see it mix. Mix, 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 mix. Oh, that is so cool! Wait, wait, we need to zoom in. Zoom in. Hi, little person! Hi, little people! Oh, I can't go because of the conveyor belt. Look at that! That's so awesome! I love this! We need a chemistry game. If you guys know any chemistry games as well, please let me know. I really want to get into that. It seems really awesome. Alright. That's so awesome. Select your multi-mixer to see... Multi-mixer? Wow. Multi-mixer to see the result. It should look like this. Yay, that blood pressure. Uh, and... Why is it making more money than me? Did I goof up? Oh well. Hover over the eases my green cure and you should see the, the its catalyst requirement is now fulfilled. With the tick next to it, I'll just say check mark. Oh, but this! This right there! That's not finished. Okay, good job! Upgrading the cure! From here it's the same as before. You need to alter the concentration. I just bumped my whole table, my bad. You need to alter the concentration so that it fulfills upgrade requirement, 15 to 18. And then run the drug through an agglomerator agglo to actually upgrade it. Okay. See if you can work this out on your own, but if you need help, you can consult the lay layout below. So I need to upgrade it. What was this machine called again? Right. So. <gasps> we have to upgrade this thing so many times. Why? Why that many times? Oh my gosh. It has to go through. Wow, this is a really. Wow, I'm just. This drug takes like so much work okay And let's connect this up. I'm guessing it's going to go into here, but now I'm a little concerned because there's two sockets, right? And if I do use those sockets for something, it's going to be really backed up. So I may have to find a better workaround for this, and I kind of already have one. Yeah, I do. I'll, I'll do that in a second. Select the last machine in your production line. You should have an anti-seizure affecting your drug. Wrong one. Anti-seizure. There's so many side effects, why? The final step is to activate the effect by lowering the concentration to within its active concentration range. Remember you can hover over the concentration bar of any effect to see its active con concentration range is. Once you have activated the cure, remember to turn it into a pill before you try to sell it. Here's the end of my production line. It's okay if yours looks different, as long as it works. Oh, see, they're gonna connect it over there. I'm not gonna connect it over there, though. <laughs> okay, so I have to do one of those and then one of those. And I can already tell 
based on how this works, I'm going to need at least two of these. Put it over here. Over here is probably better. Okay. Let's go ahead and connect those up. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do that. And that way I'll still have space, kind of, if I do it correctly, I'll still have space. Actually, let's do it this way. This way I am guaranteed we have enough space. There we go. Okay. And I shall come back to you guys when I am finished rearranging this whole thing. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, everyone, and I am back and as you can tell, I have rearranged my production line. Looks very complicated, but hey, it works. At least I believe so. I have not tested it yet. But what I've done here is I've basically crammed everything together and made sure that I have enough space that if I need to, I can use this port or socket right here. Mostly, I would use it for another pill printer, and I made sure I have enough room to add three pill printers three pill printers if I need to, over here and over here. You'll probably, and, like, I can connect this one and that one, but I would honestly probably use at the end, not at the beginning, like this one. But yes, so we'll see. And the tutorial is almost at the end here. The, t the tutorial will complete once you have named and supplied a single unit of anti-seizure medication. You can leave whenever you are ready. So let's go ahead and test this out. I have it paused right now. It's easy to work with this when it's paused. So let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, I never knew it squirted out stuff. That's cool. Look at this. And I love the mixing. The mixing is my absolute favorite. Just look at that. That's so awesome. Looks like it is working. Oh, and this all the squirts out stuff. That's awesome. Everything seems to be running at a smooth pace. I think I can see it slowing down just a little. It's possible, maybe not. Might just be me. Up oh, and here we go, our first pill. And beautiful. And she's gonna start talking in a minute here. Product name required. Yep. You didn't scare me this time. Ha! Sugar pill. No, I don't think I want people to be like, Oh, it's a pill for sugar, sweet! I'm gonna take loads of it! No. No. Anti-seizure. Mm. What do you call this? I don't even know what a seizure is. Like, I, 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 like, I knew, but now I can't remember what it is. So, we're just gonna have to call it... Um... I thought it had something to do with your heart. Oh no, that might be a stroke. Um. There we go. I know it's very unoriginal, but I don't know what it's called. So that is awesome. So yeah, this finishes 
I mean, that just finishes that. Alright, did I forget anything? Well, I've already produced anti-seizure. I was hoping there would be like a little button saying, Oh, you can leave the tutorial now, but I don't see that. So let's try and leave. First, we're going to save. Game saved. Okay. And we'll want to leave game. I don't want to quit. It's not the goal. And hopefully, you say the tutorial's done. If it's not, I'm gonna be a little upset. <laughs> Did it not? It better have. I know it's saved. Did I not do everything correctly? I thought I. No. Load that. No. We're loading this. Yes, load the game. And hopefully I'm still in tutorial mode. I am. Okay. Let's scroll all the way down. Did I do something wrong? This is anti-seizure, right? I forgot one of the steps! Ah! So I have a pill that's not the correct pill! <gasps> oh no! That's great! Okay. Cause look at this picture. What do you guys see? Yep, I think I'm missing. <laughs> so now I have to rearrange this thing. I just, ah. Uh... Where is it? Where, where is it? I need one of these. Here we go. Right. Where am I supposed to place this? I have an idea. Uh, pause. Let's try something. That's not efficient. That's really not efficient. Okay. Let's go ahead and assume everything is in place and working just fine. I need to... Because if that's the case... I can no I can't. Can I?
Okay, and I am back. And as you can see, I have added another pill maker. I want to see if this speeds up production at all. If so, I'll go ahead and do it to my other building over there. And hopefully this works. Again, I did not test this beforehand, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Hopefully I did everything correctly. Up, oh, it still had a pill in There we go. So now let's see. Hopefully this works. And once it produces, I will pause it. Product name required. I thought I was pausing it. Also, it doesn't seem like it gets backed up, back, backed up enough for me to actually have three pill makers. One's not even being used. So what I'll go ahead and do is get rid of this one. An interesting now interesting thing is that or now I know one thing you guys are probably wondering is oh why does uh now I know one thing you guys are probably wondering is why does you remove this Pillmaker, it would have gotten, it would have been faster to ship out. Well, I'm accounting for possibly needing really big space over here, because technically I could even add another pillmaker right over here, and I probably will just go ahead and do that to really maximize the space I have. So we're going to go ahead and move this over here. And this is just so I have the most amount of space I can get. I think it'll be better, so let's go ahead and name our pill. Seizure killer. <laughs> And the tutorial is complete, so that is what the problem was. But now look, I can have like just a stock up of these pills, which is great. Now before we move on, I am quite curious to see if adding more pills, I didn't add one over here. Is this my revised version or no? Something tells me oh, it doesn't keep your changes. Yeah, because I specifically remember changing the order of these and it doesn't even keep it. Oh, that's lame. So that means in the next tutorial I probably won't even be there. So I wonder if the way I made this one 
is gonna disappear too. They're gonna probably straighten it out and all that. Yeah, because I specifically remember putting this in the top left corner. That's a, that's a little saddening. But either way, tutorial number four is complete! Now, depending on how long, how long these episodes are, there may be three or four, if not five, complete episodes of it all. So we will see. That's kind of sad, though. That's really sad. But anyway, guys, I will see you all next time. Remember, remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share my videos, and I will see you all then. Bye!